And developing tonight, it's happened again. The people living at a Stapleton apartment complex woke up to find their tires slashed again. That's now several dozen over the past month, and you know how expensive tires are to replace. Well, Denver 7's Mark Boyle is live in Stapleton tonight, and Mark, we can see why these families are so frustrated and want answers. That's right, and everywhere you walk in this parking lot, you can find frustrated residents, and you can find things like this. This car, both tires on one side slash. They want the complex here to give them some security guards or a way to move out. This is my first time, but my neighbor's been hit three times. The stories are everywhere around Northfield at Stapleton Apartments. This is the third time it happened to me, but this is the very first time I'm seeing it today. And each discovery, costly for those living in this low-income complex. Just imagine. And the first time they slashed two tires, which they cost $200 apiece. The second time they slashed one, so there's another 200 and 100 for my son. So in the last two months, $700. I don't know what's going on, but I would like for it to stop. I don't have money to be coming out of pocket like that. Over a dozen tires were found slashed this morning. This is on top of the nearly 40 that were slashed last month. One resident says he thinks he saw the vandals. There was two guys out there and they took, they both take off running in separate directions as soon as they see me. And uh, I, I'm assuming they had just got done hitting those cars because, yeah, the next morning, sure enough, all the cars were hit. While Denver police tried to put together a description of the suspects, Northridge at Stapleton Apartments responded by beginning to install security cameras and in a statement to us saying, in part, the safety and security of our residents is one of our top priorities, adding that further security measures are being evaluated. I just feel like they should have somebody out here, you know, somebody physically out here. I don't think cameras is going to stop anybody or anything. And you can see out here, it's a well-lit lot, so they're, they may be entertaining the idea of some security guards. The neighbors in this whole area are very supportive of those living here. In fact, one neighbor in the neighborhood over here actually started a GoFundMe page to help these people pay for their repairs. If you know anything about this crime, you're asked to call Denver Police. Live in Stapleton, Mark Boyle, Denver 7. Thanks, Mark. And in case you're wondering who pays for damages when your car is damaged at a condo or apartment complex, well, landlords do not have to pay for damages to your personal property unless that landlord is negligent. So in a case like this, you really have to rely on your renter's insurance to cover the damage for you. That's assuming you have it.